Hey friend, welcome back to the Sage Audio channel. Today I'll be answering the question, what are plosives? And I'll be showing you a couple different ways of fixing them in post-production. So stick around for the full video, I think you'll enjoy it. But before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel. There is a subscribe button and a little bell icon below this video. If you click on both of those, you'll stay up to date on all of our latest videos and mixed tutorials. So a plosive is something that occurs whenever a singer or a speaker is either singing or speaking certain vowels and the air that comes out of their mouth causes the capsule of the microphone into which they're singing to overload. Now these vowels are typically the P sound, the B sound, and the F sound. And um, I have an example here of them. It's a bit more of an extreme example, but try to pay attention to the frequency spectrum or the frequency range um, in which they're occurring. One more time. So you can hear that they're occurring in a lower frequency range. So what I'm going to do in order to get rid of them is I'm going to pull up this equalizer here and I'm going to create a low cut or a high pass filter. I'm going to pull it up to about 120 hertz. Now what this is going to do is again cut out some of the lower frequencies where the plosive is occurring. Now, take a listen to this vocal. I'm going to turn this um, EQ off so you can hear what it sounds like with the plosive, but pay particular attention to when she says the word put. Gonna put my rose colored sunglasses on. And one more time. Gonna put my rose colored sunglasses on. So it's a bit more subtle than the example that we had before, but it's still going to be a little bit of a problem if we want this mix to be, um, you know, professionally mixed or put on the radio or anything like that. So take a listen to it now. Gonna put my rose colored sunglasses on. Gonna put my rose colored sunglasses on. Cool. Now, I'm sure you can hear a little bit of the drums that got bled into um, this recording. So let's try to take care of that as well, as well as further um, getting rid of the plosive that existed. Now, this is a um, another plugin. This is from Isotope. It's a dynamic EQ. And what you can do with this plugin is you can create a band that you want to attenuate or accentuate. In this case, we want to attenuate the, uh, the sound. And then you can pull down on the threshold so that whenever that uh, frequency is created, it attenuates the signal. Now, this is great if you had a plosive that you wanted to get rid of, but you only wanted to get rid of it in certain sections. So... If you had uh, low frequencies that you didn't want to cut, that you didn't want to get rid of entirely, you can use this to attenuate the signal only when that plosive occurs. Take a listen. Gonna put my rose colored sunglasses on. So you can see that when it's playing, it's cutting the frequencies only at certain particular moments of the song. So again, this would be great if you didn't want to cut the frequencies as much as we did before with this high pass, low cut filter. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, leave a yes in the comment section below. If not, leave a no. Maybe leave a suggestion for a future video that you'd like to see. Also, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. There is a subscribe button and a little bell icon below this video. Click on both of those to stay up to date on all of our latest videos and mixed tutorials. And then lastly, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free sample. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.